Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to the Wobble and Jaw Sports channel. If you're new around here, I hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. If you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. This weekend marks the final round for the regular season in the Queensland BMD Women's Premiership. And it is first versus second or second hosting first on Saturday afternoon from Jack Mansky Oval in Townsville. The Mackay Cutters take on the South's Logan Magpies and just going over the team lists that have been announced, they're going into this game pretty much at full strength, man. So we got a pretty awesome game ahead of us this weekend's kicking off at Saturday, 2 p.m., uh, the Mackay Cutters, they've only lost one game this year, and that was against the Burley Bears, unfortunately, up at Queensland Country Bake Stadium. And the South Logan Magpies, they are one win away from going through a regular season completely undefeated. So that would be an amazing achievement if the Magpies do win this weekend, but they're not going to because the Mackay Cutters are going to get them up there at Jack Mansky Oval this weekend. For the Mackay Cutters, who obviously I'm barracking for, they are the feeder club to the uh, North Queensland Cowboys NRLW side pretty much. Uh, so if they do not win, they lose the chance to host a home semi preliminary final next weekend. And they would then have to travel to the Gold Coast to take on the Burley Bears for the third year in a row. And that's in concrete now. It is going to be the third year in a row that the Gold Stars, Ford Slash, the Cutters are going to be taking on the Burley Bears in the semi Ford Slash preliminary final, man. And the ledger is at one and one uh, when it comes to those finals contests. So it's hard to say it's a rivalry, but then again, there's so much bad blood between those two sides, man. So again, we're on again up against the Burley Bears uh, this weekend to to, to try and make the grand final next weekend, I should say, sorry. Um, whereas the South Slope and Magpies, they are probably going to take on uh, the winner Manly Seagulls as well. There is a chance that the Brisbane Tigers, Queensland BMD uh, Premiership side, if they can win um, and the winner Manly Seagulls lose, uh, it means that the Tigers would overtake them. Uh, so they're, they're, they're a little bit undecided. They're, they're a little bit um, up in the air on who they're going to face, the Magpies. But let's get into the team lists that have been announced for both sides. So going into the home side first, the Mackay Cutters. Jasmine Peters is at fullback. Katie Green and Alicia Martin are the wingers. Libby Serha and China Palata, the centre combination. The halves combination for the cutters is Alicia Ford and Tallulah Tillett. The Ford pack, Lyrek Mara, Mackenzie Wheel, and Emma Mandelman is the captain. Sarika Muka, Romy Teitzel, and Shannon Mato is the back row. And the interchange reads Casey Mandelman, Zoe Cook, Al Stitt, and Lily Pocock. Worth mentioning too that Vanink Maylata, Lauren Moss, and Laker Clark are in or on the interchange bench. Shifting over now to the South Slogan Magpies, Gold Coast Titans NRLW superstar Avania Palete and Queensland Maroons uh, uh, representative as well is the full pack for the Magpies. Georgia Wilson and Khaleesi Longapoa is the wing winger combination. Shelley Long and Sarah Koroy, the center combination. And going into the halves now, Jodesi Nicholson and Shante Kiria Ratu. Going into the forward pack now, Freda Siu is the captain with Crystal Papali'i joining her in the front row and Brittany Brearley Nati is the hooker. The back row, Jasmine Fogafini, Taisha Mikao, and Destiny Brill is the lock. The interchange, Lavinia Gould, April Natapuna, Jonel Lavender, and Luisa. Va Let's talk about the Magpies first. So we know that Avani Apolete is the fullback for the Magpies and she is an outstanding player in the NRLW. She is a Queensland representative as well, as well as being a Jill Aruz, uh representative as well, scoring tries for both of those uh, teams. Man, she is just stop at all friggin' costs. But speaking of international representatives, last week she was rested. She's coming back into the halfback position this weekend. Unfreaking fortunately, 
Shantae Kiria Ratu is the halfback for the Cook Islands. She also played in the Queensland under 19s game in 2022. And there are all there is all sorts of hype about this young woman. And she again is another one that needs to be stopped at all costs. But she has got herself a tremendous kicking game on her. And I hope that she picks herself up an NRLW contract if that hasn't already been announced already so uh, keep your eye out for Kiri Aratu not just this weekend but over the coming years man she is a huge prospect uh, Freda Siu is the captain for the Magpies and she was rested last weekend she comes back into the fold but the Magpies do lose Stephanie Hancock, uh, a legend of the NRLW uh, of the Women's Rugby League game. Uh, she is either injured or being rested this weekend. Um, so you would assume that she's coming back for the finals next weekend. Uh, and then you've got Brittany Brealy Nati, who herself, Queensland representative, uh, a legend of the game as well. And Destiny Brill is having an amazing season in the BMD Premiership, man. She is running laps. She is running for meters upon meters um, this year uh, for the South Slogan Magpie. She is destroying the competition, bro. Destiny Brill, and she was the Gold Stars Premiership player. She is a Gold Stars Premiership player from last season. And so now we take her on this weekend and potentially in the grand final in about two or three weeks time. Uh, but besides that, they're pretty much at 90% full strength are the South Slope and Magpies who make their first ever trip up to Townsville or to at least play at Jack Mansky Oval. Uh, the Mackay Cutters, they've had to do a bit of traveling as well, just quietly as we sort of bleed now into uh, the Mackay Cutters talk. So this is the first game the Cutters will play at uh, Jack Mansky Oval in Townsville. Um, Usually they've been playing out at BB Prince Stadium or, and they've even played a game up at Queensland Country Bank Stadium as well. But um, they unfortunately lost to the Burley Bears on that occasion. This is the first ever game that the Cutters will have played at Jack Mansky Oval. However, the Gold Stars did play there twice last year and they won by an average of 26 points. So hopefully that remains uh, solid, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout like those previous two performances would indicate. I have to talk about the captain, Emma Mandelman, again. She is the best freaking thing going around, and I am so excited that she's going to be representing the Cowboys in a couple of months' time, uh, probably as captain. But as captain for the Mackay Cutters, man, she has made over 86 tackles in the in the six weeks of competition leading up into this final round top of the table clash she has only missed three tackles and made 86 her running meters are through the charts her try assists she scores tries i think she's sitting at about four or so line break assists she is arguably the best bmd premiership player in the competition but i don't think it's actually the case i think it's actually shania power who is actually leading that charge. And when you read up her stats, she is having a blinder of a season. Going into the fullback, Jasmine Peters, she missed the first three or four weeks. She made her um, Mackay Cutter's debut in at fullback. And she's made a world of difference in at fullback, uh, scoring tries, try assists, line breaks. She's been really, really good. Jasmine Peters filling in, well, not filling in, uh, making fullback her own win. I've really only known her as a center winger. So to see her in person, to watch her on the telly play at fullback has been a real treat. Um, another one that I really hope we do sign up uh, into the Cowboys and RLW side because she's absolutely killing it as well herself is Mackenzie Wheel. She's a Newcastle Knights NRLW Premiership player. She predominantly plays front row. Last weekend alone, she ran for over 220 metres and she tackled her heart out. Uh, Mackenzie Wheel, uh, I even had the, even even found myself a, a couple of metres away from Mackenzie Wheel and she is just massive. I would hate to be tackled by her, bro. Um, Mackenzie Wheel, again, is someone that you need to look out for. And I think that back row of Sarika Muka, uh, Romy Teitzel and Shannon Mato. I mean, South Slope and Magpies, they're undefeated for a reason, right? But that back row of Muka, Taitzel and Mato surely is just about the best back row in the BMD Premiership this year. So again, just to reiterate, it is first versus second or second hosting first. If the Mackay Cutters win this game, 
They then host the Burley Bears, where that will be, probably BB Prince Stadium in Mackay. Um, they will host the Burley Bears. If they lose and the Burley Bears win their game this weekend, it means that the Cutters would need to travel all the way down to the Gold Coast to take on the Burley Bears in the semi forward slash preliminary final. Um, Magpies, they've already got the minor premiership wrapped up. It'll be interesting to see how they go with their mindset, though, um, being that they're even more at full strength than what they were last week against the Tweed Seagulls that they had some trouble with in the first half, but eventually blew them out of the water. It'd be interesting to see how their mindset goes to see if they do actually give it their all, knowing that the result of this game doesn't really mean a lot. They just need to put in a good performance, I guess, in the lead up to finals. So, yeah, and it is also the first time that these two sides have met this season, so really really looking forward to this game it kicks off at two o'clock this saturday afternoon how amazing would it be for the Mackay cutters to not only win but to let's say get to the grand final and then in a couple of months time most of that side most of this Mackay cutters side are representing the north queensland cowboys nrlw side keeping in mind that they already won the bmd premiership in 2022 back-to-back premiers bleeding into the cowboys nrlw side Oh, dude, let's go. Let's freaking go. But let's focus on the game at hand. South Logan Magpies are no joke, bro. They're they're, they're 20 points better in attack and they're about 10 points better defensively as well. Goal kicking is going to be such a crucial, uh, going to be such a crucial element to this game as well. Um, Both sides are lacking for for goal kickers, unfortunately. Mantleman being the predominant um, goal kicker for the Mackay Cutters. So... Yeah, cannot wait to watch this game. I hope you guys check it out as well. If if there was a... Thank you so much for the continuous support, guys. Um, get behind the Mackay Cutters this weekend and into the finals. I can't believe they're going to take on the Burley Bears again for the third year in a row in finals footy. Take care, everybody. Adios. Go the Cutters.